Okay. My name is Shadra Kwamboi. I'm an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. I have about six years' experience. I'm a law lecturer at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. And I'm the chairperson of Sharia Mtani and Shadra Kwamboi, an governmental organization that is based in Madare, whose sole purpose or mandate is to provide legal, uh, free legal representation and do strategic public interest litigation. So we are here uh, together with other like minded lawyers or advocates of the High Court of Kenya to demonstrate against the open defiance of court orders and the rule of law by the sitting president, uh, Mr. Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Now, what Dr. William Samoy Ruto is doing has some very dire consequences, especially in view of the interest and welfare of the members of the bar, in view of the interest and welfare of the interests of young lawyers. Young lawyers are grappling to get employment. Young lawyers are struggling to open their law firms. Young lawyers have no employment opportunities. And the open defiance of the court orders by the President of the Republic of Kenya is creating a state of hopelessness, a state of uh, recklessness, because the members of the public, the members of the public are afraid that there is no need of seeking the advice, there is no need of seeking the services of lawyers, or particularly even young lawyers. Because ultimately, there will not be any respect of those court orders. Those court orders will just but be mere papers. And that is why the president has been saying, quite unfortunately, that he is unstoppable, but his projects are unstoppable. This is sad. It's a very sad state in the history of this country. I am hoping that the president is going to reflect. Reflect on his statements. And know for sure that he is a creature of the Constitution. Had it not been for the powers bestowed upon my lady justice mother Kome and the other honorable judges of the supreme court he will not have ascended to that position of power had uhuru Mwegai kenyatta sought to be as defiant as he is choosing to be then he will not have ascended to that high office and for that we ask with humility that president president daktari 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 babanik babanik tafadhali Wachana na mahakama. Respect the rule of law. Respect our courts. Wachana na mahakama. Wacha watu waishimu court orders. There will be a time that you will be needing the protection of this judiciary. Not so long ago, long after President Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta defied court orders, refused even to swear in judges. His son, his son's house was raided and he was there running to the high court seeking for protection orders. You will not be there for a very long time, Dr. William Ruto. You will one day need the protection of the judiciary. And when that time comes, we shall remember. We shall remember what you have done today, the kind of consequences you are putting young lawyers and advocates, the kind of consequences that you are giving to this country, the kind of business opportunities that you are setting aflight. Because investors are afraid of investing in this country. They are afraid of investing here largely because they know that if there will be any uh, lack of respect of the terms of the agreement, of the contract, then the court's orders, if issued, will not be obeyed. And that is why they are seeking that in the event that there will be some disrespect or there will be some, uh, you know, disharmony in the implementation of any contractual obligation, then the seat of justice shall be in another country. What is that to us? You are denying us opportunities. Stop that defiance. Watch a kabisa. No, no. The president only enjoys constitutional immunity pursuant to Article 144 of the Constitution while he is in office. While he gets out of that office, we can revisit all these things. His immunity does not extend to the time that he is out of office. We only give him some immunity from criminal and uh, civil uh, prosecution or persecution for reasons that we want him to concentrate with the work. But what concentrating is he doing if he is defying court orders? So Baba Nick, Daktari, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Tafadhali, Eshimu Idara ya Mahakama, Eshimu Amri za Mahakama, Wacha, Haki, Iwe, Ngao, Na, Mlinzi.